Hey guys, welcome back to my garage. Today I got a package. It came from DMM Technology. It's the AC servos and drives for the uh, Emco Turn 120. Um, rather than uh, getting into it, I thought I'd do an unboxing, let you guys take a look and see what's inside along with myself. It's going to be a rather long project because I have to build a control cabinet to house everything um, rather than the uh, temporary setup that I had on the machine before. So let's open up the box and take a look what's inside. All right, let's get started. Cables, more cables, uh, there's the, there's the DIN 2 servo drives. Take a peek at one of them. Very well packed. Wow. That is compact. Got a set of calipers here. Let's see how big these are. About 3.36 inches that way in height and depth, about three inches deep. And in width, oh, 1.27 inches thick. Have a look, how they have a little heat sink on them. So those are very compact. That'll save space in the control cabinet. So you noticed I had three of them, X and Z axis, and then uh, I'm hoping to see if I can resurrect the turret uh, somehow. That's not a pressing, that's not a pressing issue right now, but I'm going to give it the old college try. Okay, this is the NEMA 23 AC servo motor. Let's see if you can see that. It's hard to believe, but that's a 0.4 kilowatt motor. Now, when I ordered them, I asked them to uh, extend the motor cables. Um, it seems like what they did here is they just soldered them together and sh sh used heat shrink on this one. Um, that would be the encoder cable here. And then this is the uh, motor cable. That looks to be, well, it looks like it's also uh, extended here. There's a, there's a piece of heat shrink tube on it to extend it. 
Otherwise they come with uh, a Molex connector. So that's the NEMA 23. Set that off to the side. And there are two NEMA 34 AC servos in here. This is the programming cable. This is to uh, plug directly into the USB port of a computer and to help tune the servos. Since these are identical, I'll just set, set it off to the side and we'll open one. There's the NEMA 34 AC servo. It's too bad this didn't have a cable that came right out of the motor, but these will reside inside the, uh, the cabinet in the back. So they should be fine. They won't be exposed to coolant or anything like that. All right, well, that concludes the unboxing of the DMM technology package I got today. Two NEMA 34s and the NEMA 23 and then three of the DIN2 AC servo drivers. So look forward to uh, putting it together on the Emco Turn 120 in the coming weeks.